Hello and welcome back to Autobahn for the fourth episode in the series and yet again featuring my new Audi S4 which I've not actually produced on Autobahn yet but here it is with modifications on the way. Now I've actually got a really interesting show for you these guys you know featuring this car and your Autobahn host Ben Schofield that has returned after three episodes so honestly I, I cannot wait to show you guys this but for now let's do a cinematic between the Audi S1 and the Skoda City Girl. Right, so you've seen the cinematics, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into car cleaning, something that we take very seriously, especially your auto burn house, Ben. So let's go to our industrial estate to see how we do car cleaning properly. Car cleaning has become an obsession for UK car enthusiasts and it's something we take in our passion to keep our pride and joy looking well with a wide range of cleaning products on the market today. Take this Skoda City Girl for example. It's been driven hard, it's been had a battering through the rain that we've had over the last few days. The brake dust is thick. It's time for a first clean in this lovely glorious weather. Take these well known car cleaning products. We've got Auto Glim and Pro Clean and we'll demonstrate them on the Skoda City Go. Right, so with the weather picking up to its height of sunniness, we'll move on to start cleaning the car with these products. Are you sure you know how to clean these products? Yeah. I've used them many times before. Although the car I definitely doesn't look can, like I it. Can, I can tell you how before, in fact. It is rather. He seems to think that he's some sort of like car professional detailing person, but as a matter of fact, the car's filled with it and it's got all the swell marks into it, so I think Irish Blue should be taking over and detailing this car for you to be honest. Right, let's get cracking, that's it. With Ben adamant that he could do the job, he sprayed his eyes with the eye removal while I grabbed myself a magnificent this. functioning jet wash. Oh. Pressure. Lost pressure, he's a horse pipe tank. Ben thinks he's some sort of like fanatic for like he hasn't got a, he hasn't got a clue at all. Look at him. Just look at him. He thinks he's some sort of when he does it, he thinks he does it right, but he's doing it completely wrong. That's why I'm here. I'm here to just annoy him. I'm here to just make sure he absolutely his car detailing probably up. Therefore I can take the glory. Is that it? Then? So that's the wheels done. No, I think they're all right. He did a terrible job. Sometimes if you turn it down, it might even... Ben was due a punishment. Bastard! Oh! I know what you were going to do. Anyway, right, let's prep the snow. Right. 
Yes. Yeah. You've already cut that bit out. <laughs> Damaging your own water. Yeah, I did that out. Uh, is that, I don't know if that's working. <laughs> that's definitely working. You need to change the... It's <laughs> definitely working. I'll, I'll hand that to you. Ben began spraying excrement all over the city go and I was not impressed. Oh Ben, you not help yourself. Sorry. He likes his car too much. <laughs> I believe the technique is actually start from top to bottom, isn't it? Yes it is. You're just you're just doing it wrong. Look at all what you've missed out there. Are you trying to purposely move me up? It's all wrong. <laughs> child, absolute child. There we go. Ben emptied the tank onto the Citigo to make sure he didn't miss anything, I was getting too irritated at his technique. So I decided to steal the camera crew and record myself a car cleaning process at the same time. I think it's about time we uh, test these plugs on a proper car. Thought, this is auto that I'm filming. But let's be honest, the washing machine. The superior car. So I just thought, I think, I think it's about time we film a proper car. We are filming a proper car. But you know what? Why, why don't you film that? And I'm going to do a de demonstration on this and show you how it's really good. <laughs> Right, right, I think this is some sort of like, you know, proper detailed fanatic. I think it's time we demonstrate just how strong tire remover is and we're going to wax the bonnet. We're going to use two products that I like to use that we've all demonstrated, ProClean and the very popular one, AutoGrid. And we're going to test them both on the S1. Luke thought he was being clever, but I hadn't even begun the detailing as of yet. Wrong! Have you, have you actually cleaned the top of the car yet? Yeah. So what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be dipping all the grit from the bottom of the car into the bucket and then back onto the car when you do the bonnet. Why would you say that? You're just asking for me to get shit. At this point, he was beginning to irritate me a little and I was losing my patience. Absolutely unbelievable. Wash the car with this that I've tried, simply just get the remains of the bucket and whack it on the car. Or you could just do us a solid and just stop prattling about and just help us. Right. How's that for an idea? Right. Where, where, where you want me to do it? So that the roof mainly and the flat, the flat. <laughs> and that side of the car. <laughs> Not to. Who left you in charge with that? Who actually <laughs> left you in charge? I think I might have accidentally just sprayed him just a bit too hard. So he rinsed for squirting on a boy. What? A boy? A man? So, oh, so, a boy. A boy? A boy. It's a boy, you see. <laughs> Alright, we get it. We saw you the first time. Just do it. Actually, get what you want to do with this man. Just clean the bloody roof. <laughs> Just arrived. Subaru for you. Unreliable. <laughs> unreliable. You can even smell it from a mile away. Yeah, that, that's absolutely that, unreliable. That thing's for shit. Yeah. In fact, why am I doing that? Why would I want to do that on this car? Well, it's the least most exotic car on the road. What? Yeah! Because you just know my car's cool, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished prying about? 
stupid f***ing thing. <laughs> Finally, Luke decided to leave me alone and the dickhead stole my camera crew to film these Volkswagen. While Ben thinks he's some sort of a, the best thing to put, I'm going to show you how stuff's really good. Take the Audi S1 Up in here is we're going to uh, demonstrate with you guys with the pro clean tada, tarring glue in it. Oh, look. And now we're going to just wipe this dead clean all over. All over the bonnet. With all of the wax or any tar, tar removal, any tar on the bonnet of this car, the rest of the car is completely waxed. But and what I'm doing for the purposes of auto burn is I'm going to strip all the wax off the bonnet of the car, which that should now be free of anything. The paintwork is now solid, collecting UV rays, paintwork's going to die off, it's not being looked after. So, what I'm going to do now is just quickly, is I'm going to demonstrate just how good these two products are. What I'm about to show you. So first off, we've got some application tape because we don't have any, any masking tape. I'm just going to my expert skills to uh, improvise with this. There we go. That's not gone too well. That, that, that will do. I'm just going to whack that in the middle of the bonnet, the S1. Maybe, maybe another piece. There we go. Ow. Right. So what we've got here is Pro Clean's amazing glaze. It waters wash and wax with Canuba protection, which is what I've just removed the Canuba wax. I've removed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wax this side and then I'm gonna wax the other side with another product and then we can see for ourselves which one is the best. Oh, it's a brand new bottle, so I'm just gonna Well that's definitely got a scent to it alright. I'll edit this bit out of the video. I've got this microfiber. I need to use two microfibers, one to bug, one to... There we go. Oh yeah. Now this. In particular now. I'm going to buff it in properly, so I just want to buff it in completely, make sure that I've got rid of all of that tar and glue that was on it. Completely waxed up. I'm ready for all the car shows that it desperately goes to all the time. The other side, just simply buff it off. Next product is Autoglim's Rapid Aqua Wax. Contains real Canuba, so effectively the same materials that was in the Pro Clean. So same patch again, just spray it on. It doesn't have much it's more like of a watery effect of this, you see. So it doesn't really, I don't really see much of it. But I'd be keen to see how good these products are. And to be fair, that has more of a scent to it actually now, not just not much more of a. What was it? Same process again, just you know wipe it in. Being successfully waxed. This is how it's professionally done, not by a buffoon over there who thinks he's the shit, but isn't the shit. I am the shit. I am the pure gold thick stuff that comes out of the arse and goes straight into the toilet. That's how it's done. Right. I'll say, let's just say mug of water. I'm just gonna... Oh yes. If you get it just currently just beads and goes straight off the bonnet immediately, leaving no clean residue. Very hard to tell, but I think I would actually say that the Auto Glint Fast Aqua Wax is ever so slightly just collecting just a bit more water because the water is just currently just running. I think effectively the Amazing layer just wins it just by a small tad. But this is from me, I don't know if the cameras will pick it up as well, but I just think from the bonnet of that that's showing, this is a more expensive product. I think it does contain a bit more Canuba protection than the Auto Autoglum Rapid Fast Wax, which is actually a cheaper product as well. Obviously a more expensive product gets you a better finish than a cheaper product. 
and that question has been answered with this uh, Pro Clean. So I'm actually quite impressed. A lot of people probably will disagree, thinking that Auto Glim is better, but the thing is, Auto Glim doesn't suddenly have the best of everything. I'd probably say Fast Class, yeah, that probably has the best product, but don't have to win at everything. There are better products out there, and this is more like a hidden gem. Impressed, very impressed. I think, let's go back to that buffoon and just see how he's getting on with his uh, uh, washing machine. As you can see in the car cleaning clip, Ben had, or had, a Skoda City Go. And now, he's actually taken delivery of a brand new car that we're happy to announce on Auto Ben. Let's go to Ben now to have a look at the new, new car. So, we've arrived at this quiet industrial estate on this lovely Sunday afternoon we have. And we have some exciting news, and some slightly sad news. I have unfortunately sold my Skoda City Go. A lot of you knew that I was looking for a car replacement, and uh, here it is. So, now we'll take you around the car and highlight some key points that make this uh, better or more recognisable than any other full car buyer review. Are you ready? So the first key point is the fact that it is fitted with the bigger 17 inch wheels. Well, a standard Monte Carlo edition comes with 16 inch. This car is also sat on the sport suspension and it's sat, it's sat lower than most of the Fabios on the road. But with this being the Monte Carlo edition, it comes with a few key aspects that make it look sportier than other Fabios. One being the spoiler and the sporty little rear diffuser. A standard Fabio comes with wheel trims in SE spec, or S spec, sorry. And then SE spec cars come with alloy wheels, which I think are 15 inch then an SEL moves up to 16 inch wheels uh, just like the Monte Carlo edition and the Monte Carlo edition slots between the SE and the SEL in the, uh, in the range wise in addition the car is also fitted in Skoda Special Paint Corrida Red so this car in its optional extras wise has the front armrest And over a standard Fabia, it also includes this nice carbon fibre sporty trim and the bigger five and a half, I think it's six and a half inch uh, display featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So unfortunately, this car does have the standard air conditioning unit, £285 for, which is a full high gloss. It also has uh, LED displays with full temperature on it and dual zone climate control. So S model cars and SE model cars have a range of engines of 1 litres and 1.4 turbo diesels. The 1 litres come in either MPI or TSI and the diesel is a TDI. This car is fitted with the 1 litre TSI. Now in the TSI there's two engine uh, brake horse sizes if, if you say so there's 89 and then 110 brake horsepower variants. This car has the 110 brake horsepower variant. So, the Fabius boot is of a decent size, but in every car in its class, including some respectable cars in the category above, such as the Ford Focus and Seat Leon. So there it is, let's go to Fabia, now to feature an Autoburn for many, many memories to come. And in fact, stay tuned for the next episode of Autoburn, which will be truly an immense programme featuring both these cars and the MX-5 you saw at the start of the series. But let's say goodbye to us for now and hello back to the Skoda Cisco to go back to Ben's old car to continue the car cleaning guru. Have you cleaned this? Ish. It's filthy. It's filthy. Thank you. I am actually kind of buffing off the wax now. So actually, he's a bit premature on what he's saying. I've only dried the car, now I'm buffing off the wax. The aqua wax, also good aqua wax, that's what I've used. And I've just on the side of the car, that's all. Congratulations. It's polished. From the last time I used Auto Glint Super Resin Polish.
as you can see I'm not very accurate with it. It is. Not the lie, I think is a bit shit. Get a close up to this. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what are those? The pink gloves. To keep my hands nice and clean. And not to take any contaminants from my hands onto the paintwork. See, that's what real professional cleaners use. Unlike Luke. Simple as that, mate. That was too much for me to take in. I decided to go away. Except rather embarrassingly, I forgot to do something. That's how you want to play? Yes, I forgot to take all that. I meant to do that. It was perfect. Yeah. Have a nice time, Ben, you know, cleaning clean. Go away! On my car. Well, what's the point in that? Oh, Twenty grand car. Seven grand car. Not oh, balance. Shit. Yeah, it's definitely got to make the final cut. No, leave it in. So it's finished cleaning the washing machine now. Well, finished cleaning, I just need to polish it. It's been waxed as well. Done it incorrectly, as always. You know, but the most important thing now is... Uh, what? The wheels still look mucky, and <laughs> I, uh, I need to put tyre shine on what as well. What is this? So I use auto glue and tyre gel. What is this? This is my contraption to dry the towels. Mental. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, uh, I think we'll head back to Syria. Yeah. Right, so that wraps up episode four of Auto Burn. Stay tuned for episode five, the finale. Here and lose you, Shanti.